Rastafari, greetings to you, massive Audepan. I definitely no doubt you were Kolo Kona now. And Queen Seki Saucheli Kuyo and the Ayaz and At this time of an hour, your channel is at 263. That is definitely your dearest TV and Queen Seki channel, Apogandi. CTV, that's where you're at. Umlilo, Fire Talks with Ellen to the G. This day of today, no doubt, it is definitely another month there whereby we celebrate not just only the music, but we also celebrate the legends within the music, especially of reggae music within Cape Town. Remember this one, Cape Town for the world. Right now, at this time of an hour, I uh, want you to sit tight, go out there and take up Uno popcorns and sit tight just in front of that big screen. And please, don't touch your dial as we are heading forward. Right now, uh, I want to make sure that we speak to the world, my leader. I want you 
Out there, pan, Cape Town Massive, sit tight because I'm going to be reasoning with the elder brother Monchi uh, from the sons of Silasi. You better know that he's here inside the house and we've got the man himself, Raji, alongside him to reason more in this time of an hour. Now, Cape Town Massive, you better know that please, please let your young ones and please let them come and sit tight. As we are just, leader, uh, greetings firstly. Let me pass my maximum greetings, greetings to you, brethren. As as far, I bless my Lord, you. Raji, yes, yes, yes. Silasi, yes, yes. greetings. Yes, yes. My ancient, when we start talking about Brother Monji, uh, many are people in the Cape Town Massive, or should I say in the world of Depan, they will be wondering, who are we speaking to and who is, but we know here, this is the legend of the reggae music in Cape Town. Uh, when we talk about reggae music, we talk about the seed of reggae music has been planted by the elder. Elder, before we speak much more, but who is Brother Monji, if we are just telling the Cape Town Massive? Yeah, man, Brother Monji, I was born in a, in a place called Rap Crow. I was born there by name, under the name Charles Jenkins. My, f my, my family gave me the name Mansi. Mansi. Mansi, yes. Mansi. Yeah. yeah, man. Must okay. Mansi. Yeah, man. <laughs> so I grew up with this name Mansi all the years. Sin. But when I got to school, I started, you know, in Hout Bay. We moved to Hout Bay. So I grew up in Hout Bay. That's where my, my mind opened between the two mountains in Hout Bay. In Sim. a place called Taisa River Farm. Yeah. Taisa River Farm, closer yeah. to Hout Bay, my dear. In Hout Bay. In, in Hout Bay itself. In not, Hout not closer. No. Hout Bay, in Hout Hout Bay's Hout. got the countryside and it's got the fishing side. Right? See? See? <laughs> See? Yeah, See? No, I'm talking farm. about between the two mountains. Yeah. True, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My leader, before I, 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 we start talking about the life of the leader, I know alongside you, you have brought Raji alongside, he's been yeah. there for and alongside you long time in the yes, movement, sir. not just in the movement, but also within the music, yes. when you talk about the sons of Silasi. My Lord, a maximum greetings to the man, Steve. How is the man doing? And I, I the king man. Sin? Always positive, my Lord. True, true, my king man. Respect. We will be reasoning and putting in the man, as you have long worked alongside the elder, just together, you know, from the man, how has been, you know, to work with the elder alongside? But for now, uh, looking at basically when we when we're just talking to the people, when you explain uno self, you know, who is Raji? Telling the massive the world upon. Yo, Raji is just some ordinary guy growing up in Lotus. Yes, sir. You know, found my way through the channels in the streets and things. Found Rasta on my journey. See. Met Brother Manchi, you know, musical. At that time, I wasn't musically educated. The elder taught me many things I know up to today. The mentor. Yes, man. Sin. And That's even the even other youths that that rise with I and I at the at the movement, also inspiring I and I all teaching. With the elder, you know, Sin. teaching the youth them that come little ones that's interested in the music. And me, I started as a little one. I'm still a little one, you know? See? I always stay a little one because my elder is always doing the thing, you know, inspiring youths and so forth. Even the man, respect the man for the man's works. That's a far right. Yes, I and I give my thanks, kid, man. Give thanks for that word, man. Sound, yes, man. you know, it's powerful. It's far, right. My leader, already, you know, we, we just get a title from the introduction, from the man explaining, you know, that the way that he has worked with the elder, already a title you have been given there, that that title of brother mentor, no longer Monchi. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brother mentor, because <laughs> just listening from what the man say, my elder, you have been also, I would say, his first lesson of music, or should I say, the, the, the way of him listening, I would say, gathering music, it was through the elder. But now, already, we talk about brother Monchi. Uh, in these levels, we have seen Jaja Bless you know, uh, the, the video itself. And uh, as we have seen it, my leader, uh, it tells more to the people that uh, you are calling here for the majesty to give more blessings, you know. Yes, but uh, in your life, when did Brother Monchi link up this individual of Rasafari? Well, as my, my eye story goes, I, true, true. from Hout Bay, we moved to Lotus River. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that was 1982 when we moved from Hout Bay. So I was then already a big youth, you know? See. Right. So when we moved to Lotus River, is then when I found Rastafari because I couldn't settle in Lotus. I was like connected to Hout Bay. 
See. all the time, you know what I mean? So as my family settled in, How in Lotus, I moved back to Hout Bay. And I linked up with some brethren there, the man who's today the, the Koi chief there, you know, we started. And I found the, the Rastafari in the mountains in Hout Bay, yes. While I'm living in Lotus. <laughs> While you live in Lotus, so you might... You, you I have to go back to my roots to Oja. find my roots. <laughs> Once again, Rastafari. It's, last, yeah. it's vital never to forget <laughs> Uno roots. Yeah. Remember that. <laughs> now, now, my leader, I, I know that uh, when people start to... When you say it's 1982 in Cape Town, you, 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 may, you, sorry, you start to link up with Rastafari. Now, going to a point whereby, what did that mean to you? Just becoming or seeing the light of Rastafari, because many uh, young people would want to know, what was that, basically? What kind of light are you talking about when you say you came to link up Rastafari in Hout Bay again? As a youth growing up in the system, True. you know, we get caught up in many things. So I was like any other youth, you know, who was like caught up in the system and not knowing what, what's going on in our life, and what's happening, finding our identity and things. But Rastafari, it's like the opening of the door to life for I. Seeing I. So I started seeing what life is worth mm. when Rastafari opened I and I mind, I and I body, I and I spirit, I and I way of thinking, I and I way of living, I and I way of dealing with people, I and I way of interacting, I and I way of approach. So that's the whole life for me that came through Rastafari See. for mankind redemption. So it was I redemption. I had to call on the name of His Majesty. Eli, Selassie, 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 King Rastafari. Bless Almighty. Now, I know, my leader, as we, as we are trotting, there's not much time for, for reasoning about the, the Olipa history. But there's one thing that you might want to say, Rastafari Levity has contributed to you. Because I know that you have been growing up, while you were growing up, you might want to mention the school that you were at. Because yeah. maybe you might have some school, <laughs> some, homies, friends. some friends out there. But, yeah. but what is important That's that I want up to come with is that at the time that you were living this life of Rastafari, my ancient, uh, there's been sort of a lot of challenges that came along, I would say, towards the end. But what kind of contribution you would say that Rastafari live it has done to the elder? Well, in the first, first thing what, the, what Rastafari did for I was to open yes. my mind towards Africa. Mm. Because as a youth, we never identified with Africa. And as people, we were... You always saw yourself as a Cape yeah, Townian in that level. Capstad, yes, sir. Start, you know. And I opened my mind into Africa into who I am, See? you know. I started looking at people like Steve Biko and, and started realizing, but where am I that I don't know? I don't want to cut that reasoning, yeah, leader. You know what, uh, I want us to reason more around it, but before we, we reason that, let us just have a break so that we can drink up some water, you know. Sure. But for this one, yeah. for you out there, pan, as a youth, there, pan, sit tight and listen what Rastafari has bring to the elder and what elder has brought to Rastafari liberty. Right now, Cape Town Massive, sit tight, 263, it's your channel. You better listen and make sure you're tuned in. Watch Umlilo Fire Talks.
Definitely a music bag. It was definitely on fire. You can see it for yourself. Uh, it was a concert in the park, or can you in the park? Definitely, with this basically another concept of the concert. Righteously, right? Are you there, Mr. Lyrical Man? Let me ask you once again. Uh, my leader, we are back. Uh, one would have said it in that way. But here on Fire Talks, we never say we are back. We are forward, right? Yeah, man. We're forward again, righteously. Now, ancient. Uh, I know now when we start talking about Brother Monchi, many people now start to overstand Wagwan. You know, uh, we are, we are, we're not just talking about here, I would say, like a youth. We are talking about an elder, which is, I would say, it have needed a lot of time, you know. But if doing a, a, what I would say, my own justice to it, my leader, as we were giving unto I and I, I would say to the people of the Massive Depan that Rastafari has also, I would say, inspired the elder towards, I would say, knowing his own history. Uh, you have talked about the likes of Steve Biko, that is one of the leaders that you started to. But now, I want to also like to see like more of what Rastafari liberty itself that has inspired to the elder. Because I know already when you come to Rastafari liberty, you came up with also your skills that you have. You know, uh, I want just to get from that liberty that what was this other thing that I would say? How did you link up with music? In that sense, when did you? When was you know, Brother Monchi? Linking up with the music. <laughs> okay, my musical thing starts very young age, you know, when I was like a youth. See? I think I wasn't even going to, going to school yet, and I had this vision of being a musician. See? You know? And as I went to primary school, the stage through primary school, I never learned to play an instrument. True, true. What, what kind of music were you listening? One would have said, maybe it was a Brenda Farsis or. I was, <laughs> I was listening to a lot of things. Yes, sir. In, in apartheid days, there was a Springbok radio, you know. True, true, true. So there's people that just played music, British music and American music. Okay. So basically, I didn't have music of myself. I had to listen to the radio to actually, you know, like the top 20 and things like that. True, true. So I had a couple of bands which I like, liked in that time. But as I moved on in Rastafari, I started now doing reggae music, so for me it was like going to the dance halls first, like in Google that, too. That, that, that bug of reggae, when did that bug catch you? <laughs> I'm explaining, as I went to the dance halls, mm -hmm. I started realizing, but I'm a musician mm. and I'm listening to reggae music now differently. I want to learn how to play this music true, true. and I want to write, because I had this vision all the years. And then as I, st I first, when I took the guitar the first time to play reggae music, it was on a corner for Root Boys, you know. <laughs> Root oh. Boys standing on a corner Root with boys, the guitar. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I walk up to them. I was already Rasta that time. I take the guitar and I played reggae music, I. True, true. And it was in me. And would you still remember that kind of song that you play for the Root Boys there? Because sometimes, you know what Root <laughs> Boys It must have been say, a Bob Marley tune because... Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Bob Marley was like inspirating I and I all the way through, you know See? what I mean? See? So it was a Bob Marley tune, like, I think it was One Love because I wanted people all to sing together. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I, uh, Leader, yeah. one would also know the fact that you have already formed what you can, you also came up to be a co-founder of the Sons of Selassie, one would say. Like, when did that come to formation? Yeah, Sons of Selassie comes through the struggle against apartheid. Yes, I a struggle to change the system. Hey, this is a Cape Town band, Sons of Selassie, reggae band. Big up Cape Town, love See? that. Yes, I. Yes, I. So 1985, when the country was burning, mm. 
Yes, that's the time when I and I. I like that one when the country was burning in 1985. Leader. Yes, I so am. the concept of Sons of Silasi was born at that time still. To the fire, yeah. Fire, fire talks. See? It's like that. <laughs> yes, I. My, my leader, now I, I want just to know like looking at the video whereby you were performing in, like, in Meinberg, like you'd see that there's a lot of, I would say, massive, and it's not just only one race. It's actually Olipa race, you know. I want to say when I say Olipa race massive, it's all the races are there, pan, you know, uh, different races. Uh, they are celebrating reggae music. They are actually enjoying Sons of Silasi music. Well, through the years, the people we've been uniting the people since that time. You know what I mean? To, to through the days of the struggle, that was the music bringing all people together, Sin? coming together, and 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 really loving one another as people. Like I say, the reggae music is a strong, powerful message and music. Oh, bring all kind of people. Bob Marley touched everyone's life in this world. Oh, so I and I, when I and I really performs in Cape Town, all people, we make music for all people because this reggae music is about uniting all people. Like Selassie, I teach I and I until that day. Oh, now, for me, as a young one, Already I'm now gathering and I'm listening very much carefully the wisdoms that the elder is sharing to I and I. But talking to the other young ones, that message that you would have, you know, to those ones that are still rising up towards the music or those musicians that are rising within the reggae music itself in Cape Town, what the elder would say at this time? Because for I, I can see Ranji is also, you know, the tears are running out, you know, from his side. But just for, for me, it's a very vital time, ancient, you know, just telling the young one what has made the elder to be still so strong within the music, even though the music has been so much isolated. Focus on the positive of okay. life. Because life is about yourself See? contributing towards life. So don't change. Mm. Try to be original. Try to be yourself. Try to come out with what Jah has put in store in the eye. Because See? everyone has something in this life. So if you're a musician, focus upon it. Go forward. Try to find out many things. Educate yourself. Liberate yourself. And before, before I cut you, because I know that you've got your elderly brothers who are Rastafari, you know, families at this time of an hour watching Umlilo Fire Talks. What's your message to those elders who are still keeping it? It might be the likes of Elder Tabi, the likes of yes, Elder yes. Zimbabwe, Inamakos Gabi, yeah, yeah, What's your yeah. message you know, to the other brothers, who the other mothers who are still living up on this liberty of Rastafari? I give thanks. We are the pillars. And I give thanks for the strength, for the item, just to keep that fire burning, See. you know, because it's, it's hard when we see what, what influences come upon the Udem now. So I and I have to keep the fear, and I and I give thanks that there's still brothers and sisters, yeah, elders that's keeping the faith alive, and I pray just strengthen I and I See? through this journey, Rastafari journey. Yes. My leader, I know for the fact, uh, now the Cape Town Massive is waiting. <laughs> Umlilo Fire Talks, you know, is going to be unleashing, Rastafari. you know, the performance of the elder itself, yes, you know. And for this time of an hour, I don't want to waste no time, you know. And I want to give to the Cape Town Massive, you know, a, a maximum, uh, you know, uh, it should be a maximum respect towards them and so, sort of a, a royal salute, you know. Yes, it's my basically brother mentor, brother Monchi, brother, you know, I'm giving all these titles, you know, to the elder this time. You are a mentor, my leader. You know, to all the Rastafari, I would say sons and daughters out there, uh, who are still looking forward towards the music. Yes, and to sir. all those who are still within the music, yes, to sir. I, you are definitely the mentor. And I respect that. Maximum salute, my Big up, sir. That's a fun. Big up, Ripple Stone music, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mikey. That's the fun. That's the fun. Thank you. Ooh, yeah, na, 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 na. Whoa. The time, the time has come. The time, the time has come. We gotta move, we gotta move forward. 
a positive way You better hear what I say For a brighter, a brighter day There's no turning back now, no turning back, I say The time, the time has come The time, the time has come what I say Freedom shall no longer be a dream But a reality Freedom shall no longer be a dream But a reality We come a long way To be where we are today South Africa So we gotta move forward Yeah in a positive way We've got to move forward In a positive way Better you would I say we got to work for the future, yes Work for the future, yeah Work for the future, yes The time has come Cause I say, freedom shall no longer be a dream, but a reality. Freedom shall no longer be a dream, but a reality. Oh, now, now. My freedom, your freedom, our freedom. Freedom shall no longer be a dream, but a reality. Africa. The time has come.